Guten Tag, I am in Germany today, Munich specifically. I'm gonna be testing the Apple Watch. Can I get away without using cash, a credit card, or anything at all? Are they gonna take Apple Pay at the grocery store, the coffee shop, restaurants? Welcome to a day in the life travel tech vlog, because I guess I'm doing these a lot more now. It is 10.40 a.m. and we are at 95% battery life. It looks like we only lost about 5% of battery over about eight hours, nine hours of sleep tracking last night. First place is a grocery store. I'm gonna go see if I can buy some water, maybe a snack to take with me throughout the day. But in Germany, I guess bio means organic. So this place is called like bio market. And I'm just gonna go see what's inside. I don't think I've been to a German grocery store, maybe ever, because <laughs> I always ate out when I was here. So we'll see what's inside with the have and if I can pay with Apple Pay. That's the only requirement. So the aisles are definitely much smaller. Is this donut good? Uh, Krapfen. Krapfen. Not donut, but the... It has like filling uh, inside? It's um, marmalade. Ah, uh -huh. All right, travel fun fact of the day. If you don't know what something says, like there's like three different kinds of water and I don't want to mess it up, I could guess. But on Google Translate, there's an app here. You can hit the camera button. And now it's gonna do German English translation. I can hold it up here. Natural mineral water, low in sodium, without as soft, gentle, natural mineral water, low in sodium. I'm not sure why the water has sodium, but that's good electrolytes, I guess. Crunchy dark nut. Uh, we did it. Apple Pay worked, and I'm gonna walk across the park to a coffee shop. Let's see how this tastes. I'm currently in the English Garden in Munich. This place is freaking gorgeous, honestly, like the snow and the buildings and the trees. But when it comes to trying to navigate places, honestly, you can't just do it with just the Apple Watch. This is my actual process. Because I save everything on Google Maps, I found the place I want to go to because search just works better on Google Maps. Coffee Club Max Vorch. I'll switch to Apple Maps here. I'll paste the name because I found that search on here for like coffee shops didn't work as well on Apple Maps. Now I found it on the map and then I'm just going to tap directions. It's a 21 minute walk and not only is it going to show up on here but instantaneously it also updates on my watch and because I don't want the text, I press the little map icon and now I get an actual visual map that I can look at and navigate with and that's typically how I will use my Apple Watch because then you know I figure out how to get there on my phone <laughs> using Google Maps put it in Apple Maps and then turn on navigation put my phone away and then now I can eat this donut while I walk <coughs> great way to spike your blood sugar have a donut thingy in the morning I think being in Germany for some reason I've experienced more uh, racism <laughs> in a way I don't know it's kind of subtle people look at you but we did go to a beer house a couple nights ago and this guy was like, oh, where is he from? And she was, my friend was like, oh, he's from California, from America. And he's like, no, he doesn't look like he's from California. Or from, he doesn't look like he's from America. Didn't realize you have to look a certain way to be from America, but I guess that's how it works here. So this is something I experienced here and I'm curious if other people have. Are we going the right way? This is our check. You just pull up the watch and kabam. Looks like we're in the right direction. And the compass will guide me. If I turn around. Yeah. Alright, this coffee. Check. I guess this place is like cashless, but she said they don't take Apple Pay, but I think they will. We'll find out. Can I pay? Thank you. Then 14, 41. Can I pay Apple Pay with my watch? Yeah. Doch, stimmt. Yeah, my God. Oder? Alright, danke schön. Alright, Apple Pay works. So that was the little coffee shop and they don't take cash, which is cool. Right when I walked in, they're like, oh, card only. And I was like, Apple Pay. And she's like, no, we don't do Apple Pay. And then at the end, I was like, you know, can I pay with my watch, Apple Pay? And I was like, danke schön. And then she laughed. I don't know why she laughed, because I was practicing my German or because I paid with my watch or because I'm holding this camera. I don't know, but they're very nice. They smile. I like that. <laughs> I guess that's an American thing. Now, when it comes to traveling, I'm not a very big sightseeing person, but we'll do that. So, let's navigate to Hofgarten. Siri, navigate to Hofgarten via walking directions. Which Hofgarten villa? This is exactly why I gotta do it on my phone and then get it on my watch because it just never understands the international places at all. I just got a notification that, uh, hey, do you want to start an outdoor walk on your watch? And I was like, yeah, I do. So that's another thing that I love doing, tracking my walk. Typically my runs too, so now it's gonna use GPS, live heart rate tracking, as well as the time, and I'm doing math, so that should drain the battery a little bit faster. It is 12.30, so about two hours-ish since I left the house, and we've lost 4% of battery, so we're at 91%. It is below, it's like freezing, it's like zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> if you're not wearing gloves, your hands get really cold really fast. Just having to wear gloves and keep my hands in my pockets, and then when I need a glance, I can just pull out the watch and see, am I going the right direction? It's super helpful in a cold environment. And having physical buttons just makes it way easier to maneuver your device. You could rent a Tesla Model Y or a Tesla Model 3 
Look at that, American cars in Germany. So we're going strong, a little 36 minute, 40 minute walk. Probably gonna get another like 25 minutes in. So if you haven't tasted it, International McDonald's, highly recommend it. I think it's slightly healthier and tastes just a little different. Let's see if they take Apple Pay. It did work, it was a little funky because the terminal was like all the way up there, but Apple Pay worked. All right, let's see what a German McDonald's tastes like. Very good. Anytime you use the toilet in Europe, you have to pay for it. I guess more so in Germany. And even in McDonald's, the guy wanted coins, but I was like, I don't have any money, I don't have any cash. He was like, all right, you can go, and I was, I felt bad. But he didn't take Apple Pay, what was I supposed to do? The McDonald's toilet doesn't take Apple Pay. There was a toilet that I saw one day where it did take Apple Pay, and you kind of go through this machine, and you can pay with your watch. I think this is like the main downtown castle thing that, I, I, I've been here before, last time I was here, like nine years ago. I remember taking a photo of this, this thing. Um, I don't know, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's good to see the architecture, but when you don't fully understand it, it's like, I can't really fully appreciate it either. So it'd be good to get like a tour guide or something to walk me around, but that's me for you. I gotta tell you a secret, I found the mothership. There it is, Apple Pay. Do you think they take Apple Pay? Should I go find out? Buy a new watch? I think some of the German products on, from Apple are slightly different than the US ones, so maybe I do need to go get one. Now when it comes to ATMs and withdrawing cash, I was trying to challenge myself not to withdraw any cash because I can't really use it once I leave Europe. But in the US, I love that I can just go up to an ATM and just tap my Apple Watch and withdraw cash from like a Bank of America Chase, whatever it is that you have. It's super easy, you don't need to carry your debit card with you. And I haven't found another country that has contactless debit cards, but I guess here in Germany they do. And I did try to use my international ATM card, but it said we don't accept this card here. So sadly it didn't work. I wonder if it might work at other ATMs, I'm not sure. But you cannot use Apple Pay with a US based debit card, but a German card probably yes. All right, let's see, we can try attempt number two. So if you look at it here, it says insert card and it does have a contactless system, so we'll find out. Whenever you travel, highly recommend you get an international uh, debit card, so let's see if this works. Nope. So, I guess it doesn't work with a contactless pay. All right, I'm a coffee addict, so I'm gonna get a second round of caffeine. All right, let's try uh, this cappuccino, it's bigger. Battery update, it's 2 p.m. and we're at 83% battery, so definitely more battery was lost while doing the outdoor walk and the maps navigation. I think the heart rate tracking and GPS uses a lot of battery life, but it's, I think I could go the entire day plus sleep, even if I sauna later today. So I'm gonna sauna for like two hours and track that as well. So right now I set it to navigate me to the tram stop that I'm going to, but the street looks really beautiful, so I'm just gonna keep walking down. And what's nice is if I go the wrong direction, it will automatically reroute me on the watch. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but it will reroute me. So we'll figure it out. We'll just go this way and then at some point it'll figure out where I need to go. All right, so anytime you see that sign, you can use Apple Pay. I am about to take the tram back to where I'm staying. They don't really have an easy way to do like tap to pay when you're getting on and off, like in New York or in London, but there is an app that you can download and you can buy a day pass or a single ticket. You just have to figure out which zone you need to be in. So that was a little bit of a process putting in, you know, the start and the end part of the trip. And then if you're buying a day pass, making sure you get all the zones because they're all different prices. But once you do that on your phone, then you have the actual pass and you're not like scanning it when you get on and off, but if anyone checks, you need to show them that pass. In most places in the US, like in New York City, you kind of have to scan every time you get on the bus. You have to scan every time you get on the subway or the train. I wish they had some kind of express pay, express transit pay, but that doesn't exist. You have to actually buy it on your phone or buy it at the machine, which takes a little bit of a process, right? You have the machine, you gotta figure out where you wanna go and then tap Apple Pay. But once you do it, it should be pretty easy. Just made it. Tram does have a little unit up there where you can use Apple Pay. You can just walk up to the thing and I think you just gotta pick what you want and then you can use your Apple Watch and get your ticket for the tram if you don't wanna download the app. Depending on your usage, the Apple Watch battery is gonna die at different levels. It is now 5 p.m. I spent some time just working. So all my devices are connected to Wi-Fi, the watch isn't doing much. 78% battery, 5 p.m. battery update. I did about a two and a half mile walk here with a pause in the middle because I was grabbing a cup of coffee. And you can see I just kind of ran all around Munich. So I was tracking my heart rate that entire time and heart rate tracking reduces the battery a ton as well as GPS. Yes. And now I'm gonna go to a sauna. It just grabs the single location of where you sauna when I do mind and body. And then it does live heart rate tracking. As well as the intense heat and cold can actually impact the battery life. So I might be around 50% after the sauna experience. Let's find out. I'm about to go in here. This is a fully nude co-ed sauna. We're gonna go inside and see what it's like. Just completed the sauna. And now we're gonna head to have one beer, just one. I go to Berlin tomorrow. The Apple Watch is at, it's 11 p.m. It's at 58% right now, so it's 
killing it. I'll probably charge it tonight because I need to have as much juice tomorrow as possibly can. And it'll last me like a day and a half. And we're going back to this. Uh, the Hofbrau House, the Munich Hofbrau House, where you go to have the Oktoberfest experience when it's not Oktoberfest. We're going to Hofbrau House. Hofbrau House. Hofbrau <laughs> House. But what's really interesting is this place plays loud music and it's like a cool, like Oktoberfest bar type of scene. And there's like, not only is it unhealthy because of the alcohol, but it's unhealthy because of the noise. So I'm gonna show you the cool feature on the Apple Watch when it comes to noise levels. Last time there was a little bit of racism here, but let's go see if it happens again. So this kind of, this place is two and two for not being ideal. We're gonna sit down and the guy's like, don't sit down there, go somewhere else. So let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just tried to order a mas, which is, one liter. what's the other name for it? Uh, Stein. Stein, yeah. We tried to order a Stein or mas, one liter beer, and she's like, you gotta finish it in 30 minutes because they're closing literally in 40 minutes. They, I don't think they even want us here. They're probably upset that we're showing up at this time. But whatever, we're here all about to break the rules. This is the last night. Sometimes people are not gonna want to let you do things. And that's happened so many times in my life, and all I do is I just do it. As long as you're not harming anyone else, just do it. Yeah, I think it's just cash. Yeah, she, she uh, said only cash. Really? 20 euros? Well, prost. <laughs> so she said cash only. I'm assuming it's because nighttime is cash only. But couldn't use. It's gonna pay Apple Pay for that. Sad, sad day. If you're gonna come to this location, you're gonna need to bring. So the last time we were here, there was a band playing right there, but there's no band today. Usually it'll say like, oh, it was at 85, 95 dB, but right now it's pretty good. They were saying that it was way too loud in here and it's bad for your ears. So something to keep in mind when you go in loud environments. I like to wear earplugs just to protect my hearing, so that way I can hear later on in life. Now, look at that. Look at that. this is like a Hogwarts hall. And we're gonna go home now because it's bedtime and I gotta get to train and sleep is very important. So, so make sure to stay hydrated, especially if you're gonna have any kind of substance that's gonna destroy your brain, which we just did. Am I proud? No. This um, elevator is built to fit four people. I think it only fit two. That's Europe for you. All right, ended the day at 12.30 with 55% battery life. That is insane. I think when you have your phone connected to your watch, it just saves so much more battery life. That is it for this video in Munich. Since you enjoyed it, go watch my video where I try it. Sonic here.